I couldn't believe the mess we had gotten ourselves into. Reuben and I had started the night with mischief in mind, thinking we could pull off a harmless panty raid at the sorority party. Little did we know that it would turn into a night we'd never forget. As we slipped away from the crowded party, we made our way upstairs, trying to be as stealthy as possible. Our hearts were racing with excitement, but we were also nervous about getting caught. We carefully checked each door along the hallway, hoping to find an unlocked one. Our luck seemed to change when we discovered a door at the end of the hall that wasn't locked. With a slow turn of the brass knob, we entered a pitch black room. Grinning mischievously, we took out our phones and began rummaging through the drawers, oblivious to the fact that a girl was sleeping just a few feet away. It all went south in an instant when, in the darkness, we accidentally knocked something over, startling the sleeping girl. She sat up with a piercing scream, and panic set in. The commotion alerted other party guests, who quickly found us trying to make a hasty escape. The girls who had been enjoying their party were furious at us for ruining it. Threatening to call the police, they herded us upstairs, and that's when the real nightmare began. Reuben and I were in tears, the fear of legal consequences and the wrath of a prestigious university hanging over us like a dark cloud. The sorority girls, whose party we had disrupted, decided to take their revenge. They forced us into some spare costumes they had, laughing at our humiliation as we cried in despair. Then, the leader of the sorority girls, our captor, set a twisted challenge. Now, the first one to return with a pair of boxers, remember it can't be your own, wins, she announced with a malicious smile. The loser gets a worse punishment. We knew we were in for a long and humiliating night, and the stakes were higher than anything we had ever imagined. As we reluctantly donned the costumes the sorority girls had provided, I couldn't help but feel a deep sense of embarrassment. The outfits were a stark contrast to our usual attire, and the laughter from our captors only made things worse. We were transformed into exaggerated caricatures of femininity, complete with wigs, makeup, and high heels. The girls seemed to revel in our discomfort, taking pictures and videos to immortalize our humiliation. I could see Reuben's face, flushed with shame, mirroring my own emotions. It was clear that the night was far from over, and the impending challenge was only going to make things more challenging. With a heavy heart, we set off on our bizarre quest to find a pair of boxers. The clock was ticking, and the pressure was intense. The thought of losing and facing an even worse punishment loomed over us like a nightmare. We navigated through the sorority house, looking for any opportunity to complete the challenge. The absurdity of the situation began to sink in as we encountered other partygoers, some amused, others confused by our presence. The challenge was both degrading and surreal, and as we approached a room where we hoped to find what we needed, I couldn't help but wonder how far we were willing to go to avoid that worse punishment. Embracing femininity had taken on a whole new meaning for us that night. We were no longer just infiltrators trying to pull off a prank. We were now trapped in a world of exaggerated gender roles and societal expectations. It was a bizarre and unforgettable lesson in empathy, humiliation, and the consequences of our actions.